All right, so today we are gonna be looking at this Magic Spoon cereal that I got a targeted ad for for me. Because if you guys know, I'm kind of a cereal addict. And yeah, that's what we're gonna look at today. This is not sponsored. I paid money for this. They shipped it to me after paying for shipping too. I didn't have a find a five dollar coupon online, but. I just Google that and yeah, I didn't get any other discount for this. I think you guys can just Google for a $5 coupon, but um, yeah, and then they ship it to you, ship from California to me. And it took about four business days to arrive. So it was pretty good. It showed up a couple days early than what they said it was going to. And if you guys want to know the price, it's approximately $40 for this box, depending where you live. But it comes with four, four cereals in here, so that's what we're going to open right here. So let's do this unboxing. All right. So four boxes. Actually, yeah, let's, let's do one at a time. Put these right here. Magic spoon cereal. All right, so we have, first one is, looks like fruity flavored. Actually, I thought the boxes were gonna be smaller. I thought they're gonna be like little ones. So this is fun. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is worth it. We have, I guess these are Fruit Loops equivalent. There's the two can. And here's like the main nutrition facts, zero grams of sugar, four net carbs, 13 grams of protein. So this is supposed to fill you up. And so five servings per container, 150 calories. Hopefully you can see if we can read these. Hopefully this is auto-focusing well enough. Mm. Yeah, we can see total fat, eight grams. Not bad. Total sugar is zero, so that's a big thing. And 13 grams of protein. So we read the ingredients. It's a milk protein blend, which is casein and whey protein concentrate. Sweetener blend, allulose, monk fruit extract. Oil blend, which is high oleic sunflower oil, avocado oil, tapioca starch, inulin, from chicory root and origami, natural flavor, salt, turmeric extract, spirulina extract, veg vegetable juice for color. So it contains milk, but it is gluten free, grain free, wheat free. And yeah, the, the thing I'm worried about this is the artificial flavor, but it does say 100% um, satisfaction guarantee. So I'm gonna, I am gonna write to them if I'm not happy with this. Then you can see the back, there's a little word search. In case you care about those, the side of that, here's like a barcode to, to scan it. Let's see, Best Buy 22, February 14th, 2022. On top, pretty, pretty basic box, I guess. If I made a cereal box, it'd probably be like this. All right, so this is the fruity flavor one. Fruit Loops equivalent. Uh, this is frosted, so maybe like frosted Cheerios. Again, same deal. See in the back, there's like a fill in the blank. Kind of. Yeah, you just finished the story. <laughs> so I bought the assorted pack to try these, but there's like six different flavors on the website. Yeah, it says allulose is a rare sugar found in raisins, fig, and maple syrup. It contains only 10% of the calories of regular sugar and is only slightly metabolized by your body, so it barely impacts blood sugar levels, all while having the same familiar text 
text, taste and texture as regular sugar. Monk fruit is native to Southeast Asia and was first cultivated by Buddhist monks in the 13th century. So maybe it's natural. So yeah, that's the, yeah, I guess this is like frosted Cheerios. 140 calories for this one. Pretty much the same ingredients. Not, I think it has less actually. Yeah. A couple things missing from the other one, the fruity one. And then we got chocolate or cocoa. This looks like chocolate Cheerios. And then the back is another word search. Yeah, see it says like childlike cereal for grown-ups, so. Like I, I had to give up cereal because of all the sugar and I was getting fatter, so. Supposedly, like a bowl of this fills you up. We'll see. Well, we're gonna try it with live reactions in a little bit. And then, what's this one? Peanut butter, mm, like peanut butter Cheerios. And yeah, the side, this has peanut oil and peanut flour in it too. The back is another word search. Um, yeah, doesn't seem anything crazy. So I don't know which one we were gonna try today. People say like the fruity one's good. So maybe this one, maybe I'll try all four, depending on how full I get. I'll try a bowl of each, I guess. Uh, yeah. So then let's move on to the eating. Move on to that. All right, so we have so I guess we're gonna try this one first, the fruity one. Probably has the most sugar. I'm gonna eat it with some macadamia milk. That sounds sweet and too. This is from Costco. You can buy this at Costco. I think it's like eight dollars for like four of these. So two dollars each. Not bad. Let's shake this up. Mm -hmm. Shake it again right before we pour. So, oh. All right, I'm gonna say the box is not the best quality already. I put my finger in and look, it ripped. So, maybe, or maybe the glue was too strong. That could be that. Uh, all right, well, so far, <laughs> yeah, I just ripped the hole in the bottom here. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so you have to kind of be careful with opening this box. I think that the glue is probably too strong. There we go, all right. Or maybe my box opening technique's kind of bad. All right, so well, you can see the results right here. My box opening up best. It's been a while, I would say. Mm, the smell's coming through. All right, so if you can see, yeah, it's more like fruity. Fruity Cheerios. The box is... Yeah, the bag is mostly filled up. I would say this is probably standard. As far as ratios go. Um, was it air to air to product ratios? Alright, see the bag is pretty easy to open. I would say, yeah. No cereal flying everywhere, no strength needed. So open that. Alright, so smelling that. The smelling the cereal, it smells like I smelled this smell before. Uh, it's kind of like, oh, I can't remember. It's a certain like candy smell. Maybe like cake, no, like frosting. Maybe frosting, but it's a certain smell that's very familiar. All right, let's pour this in. Yeah, see, like, they seem kind of flimsy. They're not super heavy, so I'm kind of worried about... Like, they're, they're kind of probably as heavy as Cheerios, which are a lot of air. So we'll see how much air is actually in here. All right, so I poured... I don't know if you can see if the ink is right. I'd say probably a, a cup-ish in this little bowl. Yeah, it's probably a cup. 
So let's see how this goes. Shake this up. Pour that in. Probably put another cup of this. If you guys are wondering about macadamia milk, it pretty much tastes like almond milk. 40 calories. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'll probably put in maybe half a cup of that in right now, actually. It says there's four servings in here, so I didn't, I didn't put in a fourth of this, I believe. All right, so let's mix, mix this up a little. Make sure it's all coated. Let's try our first bite. one yeah I mean I can't you can tell there's no sugar it doesn't have a terrible aftertaste right now as far as like like Splenda products usually do so that's kind of what I was worried about even though this doesn't have Splenda in it I was curious about the Alamos but it does so i kind of like it does feel a little dry actually in your mouth once you chew it a little bit and like the milk goes through and that kind of sticks so maybe i should add more milk to this more of it just my tongue might have been shocked a little bit <laughs> in the beginning it's not too bad it's not as good as like fruit loops obviously um it's not as good as like fruity cheerios i don't say it's passable but it doesn't make me want to eat more of it. Like if I had to eat this for breakfast, I would. Like it's not, if I just needed like the calories, but I'm not in need of calories. That's not the worst cereal. I've had the worst, I think. Like all those healthy brands. But for the price. Like I wouldn't pay for $10 for this, even though I did. Another thing might be like the cereal. And not the cereal, the milk. But No, it's not, the milk's not that bad. So, it's okay. I would put it below, like, most every other cereal. Every standard cereal, like Kellogg's, General Mills, Post. Like, on the tier list, if you guys watch my other video on the cereal tiers, this would probably go, like, D. All right, well, that was the fruity one. <clears throat> mm, let's try the frosted one. Dang it. Okay, I see I ripped the box right there. I think the glue is just too strong. Does it, yeah, the box maybe is a little flimsier. Maybe that's what's a little lighter. 
All right, this bag was just as easy to open. So I got that going. Mmm, smelling this. Smells like Nilla wafers. Mmm. All right, maybe like banana flavored stuff too. It has that kind of banana, artificial banana flavor. Smell at least. All right, I think I, this one smells better than the pretty one. Put that right there. And some more of this milk. All right, mix this up. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is what like those vanilla wafers would taste like if if it didn't have sugar in it, which is not too bad actually. This is better than the fruity one. It says this box contains more than protein than a dozen eggs and fewer net carbs than a typical fruit smoothie. So much more fun to eat. Yeah, this isn't bad. Now worth $10. Yeah, that's what's not bad, but ten dollars. Hmm. No, 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 think about it. Yeah, but I would just describe this as banana flavor. <laughs> not like vanilla wafer. Not terrible. So, tier list. So I'm probably going to C. C tier. I'm trying these is because <clears throat> I've, I'm a fan of like cereal for dinner. <laughs> I've had half a box of cereal for dinner before. And I guess this is kind of filling me up. We'll see. Maybe I'll record later and tell you guys how, how much, how long I stayed full. But yeah, this one wasn't bad. I have to think about it if it's worth $10. Maybe, so these might be getting smaller, these bowls, as I'm filling up, filling up on calories. Next we're gonna do cocoa. That bar's opened up pretty well. Maybe I'm just getting better at it. Another bag, just this fine. Smells like chocolate cereal, which I'm not the biggest fan of, so we'll see how this goes. All right, I'll try not to add too much in here this time. So, we shall see. So I'm going to be comparing it to other chocolate cereal. See, like it goes dark and went gone. More than like normal cereal, I would say. All right, mix this up for a little bit. Drinking the raw vibrancy of life. Plants do a body better. 
All right. So first, yeah, it's coming off. The chocolate's coming off of the cereal as normal like chocolate cereal does. It doesn't have actual cocoa powder in them. Mm. Okay, first bite wasn't great. Second's kind of the same. It just tastes like, um, if you guys ever got the free, I don't know why you would be watching this, but there's like these free cereals in Mexico that you would get like from schools. And there was like mostly air and they were not that good. And this is kind of what it tastes like. Actually like those, those government Mexican cereals. So, because it's chocolate, I probably wouldn't need it. I think it's below every other chocolate cereal I've had. So, not terrible, but I don't know if I put it below the fruity one. Probably, maybe. But I can see if you like chocolate, I think you might enjoy this one better than the fruity one. So, if you're a chocolate fan, it's, a, it's probably not bad. I'm not the like, biggest fan, I'll eat it, but... Yeah, maybe you see my brown milk. So it does do that. So... Mmm. It's okay. From being chocolate. And let's look at this last one. <clears throat> Actually, all right, just checking the battery. Okay, let's do this last one. Peanut butter, which I'm hoping is the best. It does have more calories, 170. Taking two milligrams of iron. Um, yeah, the peanut oil, peanut flour. Let's see, okay, the box still ripped. Hold on. Let's see, this bag. Oh, oh, all right. This bag was the hardest to open, and look, it like ruptured right there, and it went down the line. But I smell peanut butter. So let's see. All right, that's probably good. So I will say this is filling me up more than normal cereal. I haven't eaten that much and I'm, I am feeling kind of full. So I guess the protein is working. Mm. All right. The texture for these has been fine. If you're a texture person, I'm not, I don't care. But it's, it's been pretty much like the same as normal cereal. So I would say if you're worried about texture, there's nothing to worry about there. All right, let's see this peanut butter one. Hmm. Mm, I'm, I'm mixed feelings about this one. Hmm, well. Okay, I would say it tastes like peanut product without sugar, <laughs> which is what it is. Okay, so compared to every peanut butter cereal, yeah, it's not as good, but it might just be the sugar difference. Mm. 
Like, I feel like it could use more peanut flavor in it. More, might bump up the calories more, but. It's okay, but it's definitely below every other peanut butter cereal that, that exists, I would say. Mm. It's okay. I'd probably put a D tier. The cocoa one, probably at least D, maybe even F. I don't remember if I had an F or just trash. <laughs> I love the milk life, which I'm using to kind of wash out and everything that's stuck into my cans. So, yeah, that's all four of them. Um, I am final verdict. I would say no, it's not worth your money. At least not that much money. If they were like similar price, like two bucks, maybe I would consider them. But at ten dollars a box, it's not close enough to like the basic sugar cereals that you find at the store. At least these four flavors there are like two more, but I don't think I would spend money to try them. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the verdict. I probably won't be buying these four again. I would say the best one was the frosted one because it tastes like bananas. So if you're gonna try one, like, like I said, depends on your flavor types. But that's gonna be my final verdict is that I'm not 100% satisfied. I will be asking for my money back, see what they say, but Unfortunately, didn't live up to my high expectations. And I have high expectations for cereal. So, if you don't, if you're not as much of a connoisseur as I am for cereal, then you might enjoy these. But think about the price too. Because yeah, it's kind of pricey. But it was worth this investment to try it. The, the potential was there. Miracle cereal that, I mean, cause it, these, these numbers, they're good. Like if you, if actual cereal could get these numbers that still taste the same, I would buy it all the time. And it, that would have been worth $10 for me, but it quite didn't measure up. It's just not quite enough. So thanks for watching. And form, yeah, make your decision based off of that, hopefully, or or not, read other reviews, do your own research, try it yourself. 100% money back guarantee, they say, so. Yeah, maybe it'll be good for you.